Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian and welcome back to a brand new feed on Source Code channel. This is episode 6 part 3 of the Vue.js tutorial. And in this part we'll finish the application and make everything functional, so we can like and we can search for tweets. So let's just get started right away. Each tweet should be able to be liked. So we want to add a listener for a click event on the like button. To get each tweet to be liked, we want to do something when the like button is clicked. What we can actually do is we can go to like button and do it there because we provide like, which is an array to that button. And because it is a pointer and that kind of stuff, it actually stays the same array. So we can modify it from a different place. So inside of here on the button, I'm going to say V on semicolon click equals like, and then a function. So inside of our export, we're going to put methods and then a function like. And then I want to check if this prop or this tweet has been liked already or not. So what we can do is we can add another thing which is going to be a compute computed property which will be has liked and has liked will return if this dot liked dot includes me and for this tutorial, I'll just use me as the person that we're uh, working as. In a real application, you might want to use IDs or names. And then inside of our like method, I want to say if this dot has liked, and we don't need to call a function because it is actually the parameter. And then we get an error because I saved. So if we have liked, then this dot liked dot splice this dot like dot index of me one so that'll just remove the like from the array if we're inside of it so we dislike the button if you have already liked it if not we want to push ourselves into the array so we're going to say this dot like dot push me when we go there we can see that we can click it now and it will actually like the button and dislike it. And even though it functions, it's not really clear to see that we have liked it when we click on it because it's still a simple button and we can't indicate if it's liked or not. So to do that, I want to make a class on the button to display it as red when we have liked it. So to do that, I'm going to say v bind class and it's going to be a object and then has liked is going to be the class so whenever we have liked it which is going to check this it's going to add the class has liked and then right here i'm going to say dot has liked and if we save we can see that whenever we like it turns red and then when we dislike it is white so then the only thing that we have to do now is we have to make it so we can search for certain tweets when we type hello it should only display tweets that have the message hello inside of it so under tweets we need to change this for tweet and i in tweets to filter tweets or display tweets or whatever and then the filter tweets is going to be a computed property filtered tweets so now we want to filter out each tweet that we are looking for so we can say return this dot tweets dot filter and we're going to filter each tweet where the tweet dot message dot to lowercase dot includes this dot search query dot to lowercase 
and then we'll see that we get an error because we don't have a comma right here so we add that and then we need to make sure that inside of our data object we add the search query so search query equals an empty string and when we do that we can see that right away it displays everything but when we search we don't see anything yet so to get that working we add a model and we say v model search query and then now whenever we put something in input it will automatically change it for search query which will automatically change the filter tweets we type hello you'll see that it will only display things with hello when you say what is up it will only display marks tweets and then when we like two tweets we'll see that we can search for it we can dislike and it'll store everything like we did so that is how you create a uh, application with different components and using different files for each component and you can see that it's really easy to manage because right now we just have our app and then a nav bar tweets a tweet and then a like button and each part is separate from the rest but they can all be used together and in case you want a different kind of tweet you can make it so you have a different uh a different file for a different type of tweet or for a profile but then a profile can still be liked so you can reuse the like button and this is really cool so something that you can add yourself is a way to react or comment onto a tweet so that will mean that inside of a tweet you'd have a comment section and then that comment section includes a text field and a uh, send button and then each tweet displays all the comments underneath it so if you want to take on the challenge you can do that i'm looking forward to seeing you create that that's going to be it for this episode if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next episode